the fingerprints of climate change from coast to coast. Wildfires in Lytton, B.C. last year, floods in B.C.'s Fraser Valley, and the destruction of Fiona across Atlantic Canada. If you look straight across, you can maybe see these cabins. That storm was so strong, it moved the cabins at this PEI resort. I think it's a harbinger of, of what's to come. I mean, this is, uh, as I mentioned, it's, it's not the last storm that's going to hit us. The government says its plan will help people prepare for what's to come. This is about helping the country adapt to the new reality of climate change. It's a new strategy with wide-ranging targets. By 2030, flood hazard maps for the most high-risk areas. By 2040, the elimination of deaths from extreme heat waves. It's taken a long time. It's too little. We need much more ambition here to really do some meaningful things to prepare Canadians and communities across this country for climate change. The government committed $1.6 billion over five years, but the Insurance Bureau of Canada says much more is needed, about $5.3 billion a year. It says that money would need to come from the private sector and various levels of government. The minister involved suggested this is just the first payment. Clearly there will, be, there will need to be significant investments by all orders of government and by all Canadians right across the country. But we want to make sure that those investments are, are, are well informed, a part of a collaborative approach. More than money, it's about setting new targets, says this researcher. That's essential because without that, no amount of money is going to make a real difference. Setting goals is one thing, meeting them another, especially since no Canadian government has ever hit its own climate target. David Thurton, CBC News, Ottawa.